This project focuses on Favism landscapes. We'll take a look at history, artworks, and inspiration. First off, we want to ask ourselves, what are landscapes? A landscape is a subject matter centered on environments and places. Natural settings can be included in landscapes, but so can urban and industrial settings as well, such as cityscapes or skylines. So then, what is Fauvism? Fauvism is an art movement or style founded by Henry Matisse in the early 1900s. Matisse didn't choose colors based on what looked technically correct, but based his palette on the feelings and emotions he had whilst painting a particular experience rather than a scene. So that's in reference to this Fauvism style. Artworks included intense colors, distorted forms, and depictions of emotion. Fauve actually means wild beast in French. Here's a great artist example of Fauvism and landscapes. Andre Durand was part of the Fauvism movement and he created lots of landscapes throughout his career. So how did artists work in this Fauvism style? Well, artists created everyday scenes or landscapes. They used bright, saturated colors, and they often outlined shapes in black or blue. Color is an element of art that can be seen in this art style. It's made up of hue, value, and intensity. In this case, we're looking at high intensity, color that's strong and bright for this Fauvist style. Some other things to consider with color would be the use of warm colors, so red, orange, or yellow. These can be great for including in highlights or anything in the foreground because they really stand out and seem to move closer to the viewer. Cool colors such as blue, green, and purple can also be used in these types of pieces, and they're great for shadows and for things in the background because they tend to fade away from the eye. Value is another important element that can add to any landscape. This describes lightness or darkness of tones or colors. For instance, white would be your absolute lightest value and black would be the darkest. If you take a closer look at the water here in this Favis landscape, you can actually see the variation between dark and lighter blues. Space is another element of art and this refers to the distances and areas around, between, and within components of a piece. Consider how you can arrange your landscape to make good use of your space. Empty space and landscapes can make your piece look incomplete. The fobs were less concerned about space and more interested in expressing emotion throughout their entire piece. Line. Here's an element of art that essentially refers to a point moving through space. Favism uses dark outlines around shapes, so line is really important in this type of work. You can create energetic strokes or lines in this type of style. For our Favism landscape project, we have a few different requirements. First off, you should create a Favism inspired landscape. You should be using materials that you have access to. You should choose a background or a solid surface to build upon. While you work, consider color, line, and value. Remember, projects can be temporary designs like cereal, which you'll see a great example of later. So that means that glue or other adhesives are not required Photographs should be taken of any temporary artwork. 
Some traditional materials you could choose to use might be anything from crayons, pastels, paint, markers, color pencils. There's so many different options within the traditional realm of art materials. In these pictures, starting in the top left, you can see crayon. Next to that on the top, you can see color pastel. Down on the bottom, you can see the use of paint and also Sharpie. Of course, you don't have to use traditional art materials for your Favis landscape. You could use non-traditional materials. So here in the top left, you can see buttons. In the middle, you can actually see a collage made out of magazine clippings. And on the right, this landscape's actually made out of plastic bags. You really should consider getting creative, especially if you don't have access to a lot of different traditional materials. You can still make a really fabulous landscape. Some basic steps for creating landscape at home. Well, it all starts with brainstorming your landscape design. This is the first thing you should consider. Will your design be urban, rural? Will it be underwater? You have lots of different options for what you make your landscape. Will you use a photo as a reference to create something more realistic and detailed? I would certainly recommend using a photo if you're picking a particular type of scene. For instance, if I wanna create a piece using cacti, well, I might get a picture of cacti. That way I can really pull in a lot of different interesting elements for when I create. Your second step would be to sketch a basic outline of your design. Try to break down your landscape into smaller parts. Then you can add details as you continue sketching. Don't start with everything all at once. Look for some of the main important features and then continue to add on. Next, you should use materials of your choosing to add color or value. If you don't have access to color, you could use shading to try to show high contrast between different areas in your piece. But you want to try to find color to stick with that fava style. So get creative to find your materials for adding that last touch. Make sure you store your landscape safely. You'll submit your work by the end of next class. So if you've made a temporary landscape using materials like food, you should take a couple quality photos of your work when you're done if you can't store it safely. So now it's time to create your own Fauvism inspired landscape. I'm estimating that this artwork should take you about an hour and a half. It might not take that entire amount of time, but it could be close to it. You may even find you need more time to come up with a quality piece. Be patient, be persistent, and remember we may spill over into the next class period to use additional time. So again, start creating, and I can't wait to see what you make.